welcome back to the book of Exodus. We are at Exodus 11 today, verses 1 to 3 now. Let's read. Now the Lord said to Moses, One more plague I will bring on Pharaoh and on Egypt. After that he will let you go from here. When he lets you go, he will surely drive you out from here completely. Speak now in the hearing of the people, that each man ask from his neighbor and each woman from her neighbor for articles of silver and articles of gold. The Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Furthermore, the man Moses himself was greatly esteemed in the land of Egypt, both in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people. So there will be one more plague exactly. And notice, God's people will still be in Egypt during that plague. Then Pharaoh will drive them out completely. They will be able to at last to leave Egypt. Friends, there come days that we never expected to come. How many Hebrews who grew up under the controlling power and the oppression of Egypt ever expected they would, would ever go to the land of Israel? Until the return of Moses, maybe very, very few. And realize this also, none of these people in this generation had ever even been to Israel. Their whole lives had been lived, surrounded by Egyptian influence, Egyptian religion, Egyptian power and politics, Egyptian ideas of magic. But now that power was being broken. Now it was seen that uh, the reality of a possible return, a journey to, to Israel, it's, it's actually on the table. Hey, this might actually happen. And I'll tell you what else. Now the future was uncertain. Change did look like it was certain. And something else happens here in this text we looked at today that is unprecedented. Now the Hebrews are to ask uh, the Egyptians, who they've been under their thumb all this time, now, now they're to ask them for articles of silver and articles of gold. And, and they're basically, this is the plundering of the Egyptians. This is starting right here. And all those years of slavery and forced labor and all the stuff taken out of their lives by this oppression, now they're gonna get some, some small measure of it back through taking the, the riches of Egypt out of Egypt. So in some small measure, the Hebrews are repaid and the Egyptians here are humiliated for their oppression, their participation in the oppression. By this point, the Egyptians really feared the Hebrews and feared the Hebrews' God, and they were wanting to see them out, see them out and away and gone, rapido. So things would never be the same at this point. But while at the start of the plagues, remember the Hebrews were unready, hey, their faith had begun to grow. And the greatest uh, opportunity for growth in their faith lay just ahead of them at the 10th plague. And of course, that's where we're going in the next few days. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.